or a point of information, but I'd like to question the Board of Selectmen's vote to recommend by a vote of four to zero. Four zero one. The reason for the 401 was there was one abstention, that was Mr. O'Leary, and the reason for the 4 vote, we only had two legitimate members that could vote on this article. There was myself, Mr. Rowe, and Mr. O'Leary, who have uh, people that are either retired from one department or another, or people ha that have parents that are employed or are currently employed themselves. So through an order of necessity, um, which we can do legally under the law, we took the vote, and the vote was for to uh, Four to nothing with one abstention, Mr. O'Leary. Mr. Burton. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I would like to comment on the uh, previous gentleman's uh, statement out there. Uh, yes, due to lower premiums this year, it was not planned, but there is monies to cover the current FY01. Future years, then we've got to simply make increases accordingly. If the premium and the rates change, uh, that we have it forever. Are you ready for the motion? Gentlemen in the aisle, please Kyle state your Johnson. name and address, sir. Kyle Johnson, 9 Washington Street. Mr. Moderator, I move the question. Motion is to terminate debate. On the motion to terminate debate, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, un unanimous. Uh, the motion is to accept Mass General Laws, Chapter 32B, Section 9E, as specified in Article 6, as printed in the warrant. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. The chair is in doubt. All those in favor, please raise your right hand, and would my tellers please go to work. Mr. Moderator, all the green badges gone? Green badges uh, no longer counting, no. Mr. Reitmeyer. 20. 20. Mr. Mosseri. 24. <laughs> Mr. Jones. 26. 26. All those opposed, please raise your right hand. Mr. Reitmeyer. 31. 31. Mr. Mosseri. 56. 56. Mr. Jones. 50. 50. The vote is 70 in favor, 137 opposed. The motion is lost. Article 7. Mr. Moderator, I move to accept Mass General Laws Chapter 59, Section 5, Clause 37A, as specified in Article 7, as printed in the warrant. Heard the motion. Does the Finance Committee have a recommendation, Mr. Jones, Sr.? Finance Committee recommends, Mr. Moderator. I Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation, Mr. Smith? Uh, Board of Selectmen recommend. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, on the motion on Article 7, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, unanimous. Article 8. Mr. Smith. Mr. Moderator, I move to accept Mass General Laws Chapter 41, Section 100G and a quarter. Payment of funeral and burial expenses of firefighters and police officers killed in performance of duties, as specified in Article 8, is printed in the warrant. Heard the motion. Does the Finance Committee have a recommendation? Mr. Burton. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, the Finance Committee voted in opposition to this. We feel that there are probably other alternatives. 
there are also i believe two possible sources of funding one which is only uh i believe four thousand or three thousand uh and we would like to have the uh board of selectmen or whoever is the sponsor for the article please explain the other options so that the uh town meeting attendees can understand the differences thank you mr smith the First of all, does the, board, does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation? Board of Selectmen recommend. Okay. Do you wish to answer Mr. Burton's question or? Okay. Mr. Younger. Uh, thank you, Mr. Martyr. And Mr. Burton, correct me if I'm wrong with my assessment of your question. Uh, if you accept Master in Law Chapter 41, Section 100G, that would be for a $2,000 um, limit. Is that correct? Is that what you're looking at as far as one of the options? Yeah, right, 5,000 is the one that's before the town meeting at this point. That's 100G and a quarter. 100G is just the, the $2,000 option. That's correct. Okay, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, on Mr. O'Brien. Please come to the microphone and state your name and address, if you would, please. Nick O'Brien, 95 Park Street. I'm not going to make too many friends this evening, I don't think. Not too long ago, town meeting went through a very stressful situation whereby a police officer died as a result of a tragic accident. And I say town meeting was, went through a stressful situation because there were benefits that were expected and yet did not come through. So this decisions had to be made by town meeting. And I guess in summary, um, of what my concerns would be is who will make the determination as to when these benefits will be available. I'm uncomfortable with that. You can stretch these points considerably. The obvious is the obvious, but when there's a question, who responds to that question and who makes that determination as to whether these benefits are paid? I don't see it in the article. I don't know who would be the responding party. Again, once, who makes that decision? I'm uncomfortable with this article the way it is. Mr. Smith. Um, Mr. O'Brien, that's not quite correct uh, in your assumption or your summary of what happened prior to this town meeting. That was a challenge by an outside source. Um, it was certainly not the, the administration's position. That, that was challenged from the outside. Um, this particular situation, we went to the $5,000 number because we don't know of any burials that would, would be covered at the $2,000 figure. So that's the reason we went to the five. Yes. On the motion, gentlemen in, in the center section, please state your name and address, sir. Howard Solomon, 37 Spruce Road. I think to take what Mr. O'Brien was saying a step further, the issue that concerns me in here is the in the line of duty, or whatever the exact wording is. We have a question. What is defined as in the line of duty? How broad is that? And do we end up potentially with another case where for something that, again, is a horrible situation, but is or is not in the line of duty, how does that get addressed? Mr. Jones, Jr. <clears throat> with the indulgence, Mr. Moderator, at town meeting, I'll read the uh, language. Um, the funeral and burial of any firefighter will in the performance of his duty and as a result of an accident while responding to or returning from an alarm or fire or any emergency or as the result of an accident involving a fire department vehicle which the firefighter is operating or in which he is riding or while at the scene of a fire or any emergency is killed or sustains injuries which result in his death or of any police officer who while in the performance of his duty and as the result of an assault on his person or a result of an accident while responding to an emergency while in the performance of his official duty or as a result of an accident involving a police department vehicle which he is operating or which he is riding is killed or sustains injuries which result in his death. It, it seems to me fairly clear 
there, in addition to which some of the other benefits that I think Mr. O'Brien were alluding to, uh, the Executive Office of Public Safety of the state would make a determination uh, as to the circumstances involving the death. Uh, if it is v determined to be an in the line of duty, there are certain benefits that accrue from the state uh, level as well. So it seems to me fairly clear. Uh, I happen to be in the minority view on the, on the Finance Committee on this, and I think this is a, is a reasonable um, uh, adoption of a state law that I think is a, a very modest request. Any further discussion? Hearing none, on the motion, main motion under Article 8, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. The chair is in doubt. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. And would my tell us please once again earn their exorbitant salaries. Mr. Reitmeier. 44. Mr. Mosseri. 63. 63. Mr. Jones. 52. 52. All those opposed, please raise your right hand. Mr. Reitmeyer. 4. 4. Mr. Mosseri. 23. 23. Mr. Jones. 21. 21. Vote is 159 in favor, 48 opposed. The motion is carried. Article 9. Mr. O'Leary. Mr. Moderator, I move to authorize the Board of Selectmen to grant an easement to New England Telephone and Telegraph Company as specified in Article 9 as printed in the warrant. There is a motion that the Finance Committee have a recommendation. Mr. Burton. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, no monetary attachment to this. The Finance Committee is not required to make a recommendation. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation? Mr. O'Leary. Mr. Moderator, the Board of Selectmen recommends. Is there any discussion? Mr. O'Leary. Uh, this would just authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into uh, some discussions with the uh, New England Telephone and Telegraph Company. Uh, there is some, uh, they're looking for an easement to place one of those uh, control boxes. Uh, that whole section of town up off of North Street is uh, not being well served at this time as far as uh, junction boxes. And they're looking for a placement of one of these structures and they approached uh, the Hillview Commission, as far as uh, placing it on public property whether rather than on private property, uh, we have a section of the parking lot which would be well screened uh, from uh, the public's view at the far end of the parking lot area, which we would like to uh, authorization to enter into some sort of discussions with them in relation to some monetary uh, uh, payment for the easement. Uh, this would just authorize the Board of Selectmen to do it. If we don't come to terms with them, it will not be exercised. Any further discussion? Mr. Mosseri. Please use the microphone. The Hillview Commission is in support of this article. Thank you. Mr. O'Brien. One quick question. Does this involve tearing up the new parking lot? Anybody who knows the answer to that question? Mr. Mosseri. No, it's in the uh, far left corner of the maintenance shed toward the street. Any further discussion? And, and it is behind some shrubs. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none. On uh, the Article 9, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Article 10. Mr. Moderator. Mr. Smith. I move to appropriate such sum as may be allotted from Chapter 90, a portion of for the purpose of constructing, reconstructing, or maintaining roadways within the town of 